Thank you. Thank you very much. This is exciting. My nipples are hard right now. They are. I just noticed it. Ooh, that kind of hurts. Um, hello, everybody. Nice to, nice to see you all. Uh, my name is Louie. Uh, I'm a 42-year-old I'm divorced father. Um, I got two kids, uh, two girls. And uh, uh, it's, you know, the hardest part of being a parent really is just the days that you spend with your kids. That's really, ask any parent. You, you ask parents like, is it the worrying? Is it saving? No, it's just the days. <laughs> it's just every day. Wait, my kids wake me up at six o'clock in the morning. Okay, I don't get up at six. Before I had kids, I blew off whole careers because I didn't want to get up. <laughs> like just, oh, I just won't be that then. And then you take them to school, and then you pick them up, take them home, and then it's like, how early can I put them to bed that isn't child abuse? Like how, like 4 p.m.? Putting your kids to bed is murder, because they don't want to do it. They're just laying awake, like, just like clockwork orange, just <laughs> so excited. And I just want, I just want them to stop, I want to stop their ceaseless joy for life. <laughs> so I can go watch Cash Cab and Jack Off and pass out. That's all I want. I love my kids, but I want them to stop at bedtime. So I just want them to go to sleep so I can eat all the ice cream in a house that would break their hearts if they knew how much ice cream. There's so much ice cream in the house and I never give it to them. It's mine. I wait till they're sleeping and I eat it in their room in the dark over their beds. And also I'm a, I'm a divorced dad. So when I'm with my kids, it's just me and two little girls. And that's a challenge. There's certain things like, like we were in the airport the other day, was taking my kids somewhere in New York, and, uh, and they had to go to the bathroom. Now, when kids have to go to the bathroom, you don't get much warning. They don't go, hey, Dad, I kind of have to go. Should we start looking for a place? They just go, I'm going to poop in my pants in T minus five, four, three, <laughs> and it's over. So you got to find a place. Now, take yourself through that logically. I'm a man. I've got two little girls. I, I'm not allowed in the ladies' room. I mean, not me personally. I didn't get banned. I'm just, I can't go in the ladies' room because I got a big old penis, so I just can't go in. I'm not bragging that it's, it's not big, like, porny, thrusty penis. It's just big, like an old man's nose. Just kind of like, just, just kind of droop, you know, like a lava lamp, just bloop. It's really, it's, ups, it's big in an upsetting way. You don't want to, don't ever look at my penis. It's awful. Also, I'm not allowed in the ladies' room because I love looking at people's vaginas any time that I have that opportunity. You know, it's amazing that we still need separate rooms to pee in. As, as human beings, men are so disgusting that we can't be trusted to pee in the same room. So I have to take my girls to the men's room, which is awesome. Look, girls, nine penises. <laughs> nine farting men shaking the pee off their big old penises. So I gotta push him past that, and then we go in the stall. So I'm in a bathroom, airport stall, with two little girls, all our luggage. There's a guy right here. Right here. There's a guy here. This dude, I can see his foot. He's trying to get leverage to harder. Like, he's struggling. We can hear him. We're sharing this moment with him. He's like, oh, he's struggling. Like he's giving birth in the 1800s with no midwife, just in a barn. Just an old country whore dropping another baby in the, in the hay. This is what this sounded like. And when he broke loose, it sounded like, like soup cans and pennies being shook out of an old duffel bag. And he's this close to my beautiful daughter's little tiny face, who, by the way, is shitting her brains out. This kid is no princess. She is cracking pipes. So she goes, then the other one, then it's my turn. I'm peeing, I'm trying not to fart in her face. It's a challenge, that's what I'm trying to say. It ain't easy. But I love my girls. I'm trying to stay in shape. No, I'm not. I have a dog. I have a doctor who told me that I eat too fast. He said you should eat slowly. Because what happens is when you eat, there's a signal that goes from your stomach to your brain that says you're full. But it takes that signal 20 minutes to travel from your stomach. First of all, what a douchebag my body is. <laughs> that it takes 20, what's taking 20 minutes? If I stub my toe, I know it instantly. And that's twice the distance. <laughs> what's taking this signal 20 minutes? It's like, <laughs> 
Hey, Tit, what's up? What are you doing over here? My tit's like, dude, get up there. We're getting this fat. Hurry up. Ooh, excuse me. He goes, hey, hey, asshole, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> uh, all right, I've disgusted you enough. Thank you very much. Thank you. C.K. Don't